And in River State, where the situation seems to be worse, the River State Command of the Nigeria Security and Civil Defense Corps says it will continue to levy war against all theft and economic sabotage by elements who are bent on undermining the economic growth of the country. Details in this report. The commandant of the NSCDC River State Command, Michael Oga, said this when he paraded three suspects arrested with one large wooden boat and two vehicles laden with illegal refined petroleum products. He informed that the NSCDC River State Command's Marine and Land Patrol team arrested the suspects and impounded the said items following the dissolution and reconstitution of the anti-vandal units of the Corps across the Federation. He relayed that the suspects loaded the illegally refined petroleum products in, in cellophane bags and concealed them in sack bags. Because, because of the information, intelligence gathering, that's why we were able to apprehend this very boat. You can see the way the thing is still under. Probably nobody will know. About 24,000 mm -hmm. liters. Okay. 20, okay. Those who are involved should stop. They should repent. They should change their business. Or if you re relocate to where it's going to be safe for them, but as far as everything is concerned, no place is safe for them to hide. Commandant Oga, while issuing a stern warning to those milking the economy of the nation through oil theft and illegal bankering activities, urged them to relocate from River State, declaring that as the new sheriff in town, he will not compromise nor leave any stone unturned in dealing with them. He also charged the newly constituted state anti-vandal team to scale up their game in the war against crude oil theft and pipeline vandalism. Anybody who is involved in conniving with the bomb class by involving into extortion will never be tolerated. I shall ensure that anybody who is involved in criminality or to connive with criminals to the River State NSCDC boss affirmed that a suspect will have their time in court appealing to the public to provide the command with credible and actionable intelligence that will enable the command clamp down on oil thieves in the state.